Welcome to our demonstration of the portable Bruker S1 Titan XRF technology in quantifying calcium-based stabilizers in chemically treated soils. We wanted to work with the Oklahoma Department of Transportation to try to determine a better way to know how much calcium stabilizer was in a subgrade. The stabilization process, as you know, is done on a macro scale, and so we wanted to ensure that there was a much, as much homogeneity across the site as could, be, as could occur with all of the mixing and dumping and greater working that, that goes on over the site. And right now, there is no way to determine exactly how much stabilizer is in that subgrade. And so, with the X-ray fluorescence technology, we are able to start to provide information about how homogenous the mixing process is on site. One of the interesting things about X-ray fluorescence is that it's an elemental test, and so time doesn't matter after sampling. And We've proven this technology with the whole rock analysis, which is melting that soil down into a fused disk and sending it off to a laboratory to uh, get analyzed. But in order to speed the process up and help inspectors on site, help the contractors get that site as stabilized as possible, we wanted to look at the portable X-ray fluorescence technology, and that requires understanding how to process the soil, and and testing it right there in the field and so we've been doing work on this for a while and we've come to realize that you can't just shoot the samples right in the field without any processing and so we worked on the sieve size and the grade size analysis uh, that that we have to have in order to test the x-ray fluorescence and we found that the finer the particle, the more accurate the measurement. From previous studies, we have shown ODOT that the stabilization is not always well mixed. And right now we're working on refining that method to be able to ha help the ODOT inspectors uh, determine what that stabilization mix content is. So we take a sample from the field, we bring it back to the lab, and we process it to a very fine uh, particle size. And we're still in the process of refining um, how, we, how we sample and process our soils. Once our sample has been processed sufficiently, and is a nice powder, we have to put it in a sample cup and test it with the X-ray fluorescence gun. And so we're following the protocol that we would in the field. You could be doing these tests directly in the field after just a little bit of sample prep. So you grind up the sample, to passing a certain sieve, I would rec we would recommend a number 40 at least, and better yet, 100. You put it in these pre-made sample cups with the proline film on top. You stand your portable X-ray fluorescence gun in the stand. You put the shield on it. Uh, if you have a laptop computer in the field, you can shoot directly in it to your computer. You can input GPS units. There's a GPS Bluetooth that hooks to this machine. You can input the job number and the station number and anything else that you need in the technician number. So you could um, be able to see the results when you're done. Once you got everything set up and you choose, chose the correct calibration library and the method, you would set the phase lengths and we have recommended phase lengths for you. In this particular run we'll be using phase 1 at 20 seconds, phase 2 of 20 seconds, and phase 3 of 20 seconds. The earlier runs find the heavier metals and the later runs find the lighter elements like calcium. 
And so keep watching the screen to see uh, how much calcium will pop in this sample. Now you can see the red light is on with the gun. It is now irradiating that sample and it's going to go through that 20 second first phase and it's finding iron and zinc right now. It just found copper. As it elapses into that second phase, it'll find some more elements. And as it moves into the third phase, it'll find what we're interested in, which is calcium from the stabilizer. Now, we have to test the stabilized soil, we have to test the virgin soil, and we have to test the, stable, the chemical stabilizer to be able to mathematically determine how much calcium is in the stabilized soil. But this is a very simple process, and this technology is extremely accurate and precise, and we are currently refining the method at which we sample and process our soil. And now you can see that the calcium is over 2,000 parts per million. Thank you for watching our short virtual demonstration of the portable Bruker S1 Titan X-ray fluorescence technology in quantifying calcium-based stabilizers in chemically treated soils. Special thanks to Rick Ramsey of U.S. Analytical Solutions for the use of the Bruker S1 Titan during this research.